everybody, it's Melissa from Buckeye Girls Reason Things. Welcome to the Christmas Dollar Store DIY Challenge. This is a group of, of, of creative YouTubers that has came together to bring you interesting, inexpensive DIYs for Christmas this year. How fun is that? Are my first host of this challenge is at Penny's place. We know she does a lot of DIYs. She does. Um, she also does a, some wonderful cooking recipes, and she's inspired many YouTube, uh, us YouTubers that are small like me. So please go visit Penny. She's going to have a playlist for this collaboration. Our next home, our next host is Avery's Home Search. She does a lot of decorating, a lot of shop with me's, and some fun DIYs. Go check Avery Home Search out and subscribe. Our next host is Styling with Stacy. Go check out her, her channel and please subscribe. She makes some beautiful things as well. Our next host is DIY Designs by CCW. We know she's gonna come up with some very creative things from the dollar store for Christmas. We all love Christmas. The whole group loves Christmas. So please go check out and subscribe to their channel. I hope you enjoy my five Christmas ornaments. And please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay. This is a Dollar Tree bucket. You can find these in the wedding section at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna make a Dollar Tree Christmas ornament with it. And these are just the little puffs you can buy them at the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna start with putting the red ones in the bottom. I'm gonna use a little bit of this. It's like snow too. It's uh, it comes in in uh, it's like snow t snowy tinsel. I'm gonna just roll that up in a circle. You can find this at Dollar Tree or Dollar General. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take this and roll it and add some hot glue on top of the red puff balls that we got at the Dollar Tree. Oh. And add a little bit of this. It's a little, it's like the snow stuff tinsel that you get at either Dollar Tree or you can also get it at Dollar General too. It's one of those wherever you can find it because when I went to get my thing, the stuff to make, to do this collaboration, my Dollar Tree, it doesn't, it doesn't have hardly any Christmas. So I had to think outside the box on some of these ornaments, which is fun to do. I'm just adding some of the snowballs in. And then this ribbon I found at Dollar General. It's just a nice, every, you know, just Christmas ribbon. You could use it actually for every day. 
But I'm going to take this and add it around the edge of the bucket. I'm adding another dot of hot glue over here. Then I'm going to just make a little bow Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to just make a loop. You do it like you, you tie shoes. may grab this and make a little bow on all this it's easier which I know they have jute twine this is just jute twine and I know they sell this at the Dollar Tree and they also probably sell it at Dollar General too You add a jute twine bow to the handle. And then you can write with a Sharpie, let it snow or, or snowballs. You could add, here you could write, let it snow or snowballs five cents if you want but there's our first ornament our next ornament i just filled this i just this is just a clear ornament from the dollar tree and i added the white and red little sprinkles that they have out at christmas and then i glued a small uh, silo cup, mini silo cup on it, and I added a pop tab and painted the inside black for a gumball machine. That is, that is our second ornament. It's very easy to make. Okay, we're going to do a Dollar Tree candy cane ornament. These are from the doll, they come from the Dollar Tree 
There's a package of six for a dollar. And then we're going to just take a piece of fabric. It could be a sock. It could be whatever you could find. You can either find it at the Dollar Tree. Or you may have an old top you don't want to wear anymore. But it would look pretty as an ornament on your tree. Whatever. That ugly Christmas sweater or ugly Christmas shirt you bought last year for the office party that you'll never wear again. You could rip it and repurpose it and just wrap it around your candy canes. You just wrap them. And these you could make whatever color because and it, you know, that you, you're you going to decorate them. And then you, every now and then you just add a little bit of glue. Because you don't want to get have it too loose. But, and that's as simple as it is. So very simple you can like I said repurpose material you don't have to buy new you could uh, you could use something you find at the Dollar Tree baby blanket a scarf you a shirt you're, you're not gonna wear anymore That's as simple as it is. Like, even your husband's old flannel t-shirt, flannel shirt would work that may have a hole in it. That's basically what this one looks like. Thank you for joining me for a dollar for two. And I I got the green these green little puffs. They were all in one bag. But my suggestion, if you're going to make these, Buy two bags. I bought. I could. They only had one at my store, and that's not quite enough. So I'm gonna add some that I already had, and you just add them into the. You take the tops off and add them in to the ornament. And fill it in as full as you'd like. And if you mix them, I think it looks prettier if you mix some that are different than others. Because these here kind of have the iridescence on them. And the ones I put in there before don't. I'm glad I had some in my craft room because they only had two bags. And this one here, I'm going to do the same. So I would at least pick up two bags because I don't like my mine so sparse. And here's where I give a big shout out to one of my friends. You know I love the support to, to give a shout out to my friends. Well, I've seen this, this ornament idea on Nona's Nutty Craft. Go and check out her channel and give her a subscribe and a like and tell her I sent you. Tell her, tell her the Buckeye Girl sent you. She's one she's one of she's one of my best friends. We started our YouTube channels together. Back in the day.
and we are still friends. Okay. This green one, I'm going to just use a little bit of paint. This is just acrylic paint. I think I bought it after Christmas last year, but I think I think the Dollar Tree has 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 uh, paint too. And I'm going to just paint a heart on my ornament. This is for all you Grinch lovers. And then I may go go back, and I'll probably go back and give it two coats. It'll definitely need two coats, but this is the first coat, and you can just go back and give it a second coat. And the next ornament is the white one. I'm going to use some orange acrylic paint. I think they sell this at Walmart. I just get got mine at, at uh, Walmart. For a dollar for 50 cents and I'm going to just make it look like a you make what looks like a a ice cream cone and this is going to be the nose for my snowman and this too will probably need a second coat which is okay And there's what it looks like. See how it needs a second coat? And this one too. You'll just have to go over it again. Okay, while this dries, we're gonna go and we are gonna make the snowman's eyes. And we're gonna be very careful not to, not to, uh, not to, uh, smear our his uh, nose And I got one eye just a little bit bigger than the other. Okay, there's our face of our snowman. And we're going to have to go back and re and and touch up the paint a second time on the nose. And then I'll go back and I'll draw around the nose and make little lines for the carrot. Okay, these are a red and green red and white pipe cleaner. We're going to just take it and twist it. To make it look like a candy cane. And I'm going to do about half. Half of these two pipe cleaners to make sure I have enough.
Okay, and then we have our snowman that we're working on. We are going to make him earmuffs. You know, uh, uh, up here in Ohio, it gets cold in the winter time. So he got to have earmuffs. It gets so cold in Ohio, your Christmas ornament even needs earmuffs. Just saying. There's his earmuffs. It may be dry enough for me to make my finish my nose. Ooh. What I'm gonna do is go around the orange with the black marker. Add some lines for his for his carrot. And there is our snowman. Isn't he cute? 